Um, okay, so welcome everybody uh, this morning uh, to your Monday morning start to the day. Um, it's really lovely and sunny, so it's helping keep the positivity going, certainly for me anyway. Um, we are going to be starting off in Tadasana in a standing uh, posture, just simply because these days I don't know how much uh, standing we are doing. So um, we want to make sure that we're opening up everything. I will take you then down to the floor for a little uh, little relax at the end. So you're coming to the uh, top of your mat. Yeah, so just one end of your mat. Please feel free to adjust the screens if you need to at any point so that I can see you, but mostly so that you can see me without straining, um, straining yourselves. So um, you come into the top of your mat. I'm just going to stand here so you can see. Your feet are hip distance apart. Okay, so they're hip distance apart. And you want them to be straight. So you don't want them to be kind of stood slightly out or in. Yeah, you're too, too in. And I want you just to think about tucking that tailbone underneath. Yeah, lengthening through the front of the body. Shoulders are coming up, back and down away from the ears and then you're just going to have your palms facing forward for me okay so we've got this nice open posture through the front of the body so you can either close your eyes because the beauty of closing your eyes is it gives you a little bit more awareness of what's going on those little micro movements through the body i want you to just start taking some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose so just get in this gentle connection with the breath so as you're breathing in and out what i want you to think about is the way in which your your body is lengthening on the in-breath so lifting through the crown of the head but make sure the shoulders don't also scoot up by the ears yeah so and on that exhale you really want to be making sure that they soften and relax back down that they don't stay up there so nice steady breaths in and out lengthening the breath and matching the out breath with the in breath Maybe in this moment, just drawing your focus and attention to how your body's feeling this morning. Maybe draw the focus to that grounding through the feet. So you may be thinking about, is there more pressure through one foot than the other? Are you taking the weight through the heels more? So maybe thinking about just rocking through the feet a little bit to bring that balance through each side pressing down with the big toes and then just relaxing them off a little bit. Noticing as the front of the legs tense a little bit as we manage our balance. Good. And now you're going to take a deep breath in and reach the arms all the way up, softening through the shoulder. And as you exhale, you're just going to gently come over into a forward fold, softening through the knees if you need to, relaxing the head down. This is sometimes where your block comes in handy, just taking the pressure off that lower back if you need to and relaxing the head down rather than staring forward and just feeling that kind of length through the spine first thing in the morning backs the legs always feeling a little bit tight so just you know it's natural to guard them a little from here inhaling to gazing pose the hands are to the shins the length is through the spine you can keep that block there if you want or a cushion or whatever it is you're using exhale soften through the knees sweep the hands all the way up again hands through heart center so inhale bringing the hands up exhale all the way over forward fold so just coming over slowly we're working slowly into the into the body and then inhale to gazing pose hands are to the shins exhale soften through the knees sweeping the hands all the way up hands now come through heart center 
make sure that you're breathing with this down and up, okay? Because otherwise, sometimes you might feel a bit dizzy. So take your time. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, all the way over, drawing the chest forward. Arms are coming back, forward fold. Good. Inhale to gazing pose, hands to the shins. Exhale, soften through the knees, sweep the hands all the way up, hands through heart center. Good. So bringing those arms all the way up for me again, interlacing the fingers, lengthening through the spine. You're going to very gently ease over to your right hand side, lengthening down that left side. Okay, so really rooting through that left foot and really kind of feeling that skin stretch down that left side. Inhale into the center. Soften the shoulders, relax the neck. Exhale over to the other side. So trying to keep the hips nice and steady. Try to keep the head, neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. Inhale into the center. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back, into, uh, either interlacing the fingers or just easing the heel of the hand into the small of the back. So here you're going to draw the shoulders back, squeeze the bum and just gently lifting and lengthening through the front of the body, kind of almost uh, pushing your hips forward, but squeezing the bum just to protect that lower spine. So the gaze can be slightly up towards the ceiling, but try not to drop your head back. Just opening up the chest, inhaling, straightening up, bringing those arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale over, forward fold. So just holding it here for me. Remember, you can grab your block if you want to. You can hold on to that block, take the pressure off the lower back. So just allowing yourself to hang here. I just want you to take a little sway from side to side. Check in with how your lower back is feeling. Working into the sh into the full length of the spine. How are the backs, the legs? You know, so the I know mine are always a bit tight on a Monday morning. So inhale to gazing pose. Exhale, soften through the knees. This time your hands are coming down towards the mat. You're going to step your right leg back, drop the knee for me, untuck the toe, and then inhale up into a low lunge position. Good. Keep the shoulders nice and soft, lengthening through the spine. Inhale. Exhale, float those hands back down towards the mat, stepping back into a downward facing dog. So you're tucking the toes and you're coming into downward facing dog. If this is relatively new for you, please take a break when you need to. So you're hitching that tailbone up, you're drawing the chest towards the shins. Above all, you're breathing, okay? and relaxing the head and the neck, pressing with those hands. Now let's have a little pedal through the heels because here we're lengthening through the back of the body. Yeah, so please feel free to take a break. Drop the knees down as you need to. Good, coming to be still in that downward facing dog. You're gonna come over now into a plank pose. Let's drop the knees and then slowly lower through chaturanga, elbows under shoulders, and then coming into support of cobra, baby cobra. So drawing uh, as if you're pressing, uh, press, sorry, pulling the mat towards you, and then lengthening through the front of the body. Good. Gaze forward. Placing the hands underneath the shoulders for me, tuck the toes. Lifting the knees if you want to, or keeping them down, and then coming up back into that downward facing dog. You're going to walk the feet now back to the top of the mat, into that forward fold. Keeping the weight through the toes if you can, keeping a slight bend through the knees if you need to, or using your block, whatever you feel you need. Relax the head down. Inhale to gazing pose, hands to the shins. So really length through that spine. Exhale, soften through the knees, sweep the hands all the way up, hands through heart center. Good, okay. 
So taking a deep breath in again here, you're going to take hold of your uh, left wrist with the right hand. We're coming into sundial, okay? So it's just similar to what you've done before. You're lifting a length thing, but then you're kind of drawing on this uh, left arm over with the right hand. And then trying to think about really lengthening, sending the gaze up. So you've got this nice stretch down that left side. Try and keep the hips nice and square. Relax the head and neck. Bringing your body back into the center, changing the grip. Left hand now comes to the right wrist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, gently over to the other side. Really just using this to bring that arm over, but not so that it causes you discomfort. You just want to feel it down the side. Inhale now into the center. Bring the hands now behind the back. So we've um, had them into the, the heel of the hand, into the back pockets. Or you can interlace the fingers or whatever you want to do. But ultimately lengthening through the front of the body. Take a deep breath in, squeeze the bum. And then as you breathe in, you're just lengthening, squeeze the bum, just lengthen through to the crown of the head. So it's a gentle ease up back as you're extending through that back only as far as is comfortable, okay? And then when you're ready, inhale, bringing the hands up. Exhale all the way over, forward fold. This time, you're gonna step your left leg back, drop that back knee, untuck the toe, low lunge on your second side. Good. So you can get a little bit more of your hip flexor in here in this low lunge position. I'll just turn this way for you. You don't need to lunge into anything to get that hip stretch. All you need to do is think about kind of turning your tailbone under and you're automatically going to feel it more in that hip flexor. Good. When you're ready, Place that with those hands either side of the feet, step back, downward facing dog. Okay, so really hitching that tailbone up nice and high, soften through the knees if you need to. Yeah, press through with the hands. When you're ready, slowly coming over now into plank pose, dropping the knees if you need to, lowering through chaturanga. Elbows under shoulders into supporter cobra, or coming up into full cobra. Depends on how your backs are feeling, but try not to drop into it. Yeah, your shoulders should be away from the ears. Squeeze the bum. When you're ready, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Walk the feet now towards the hands for me. Come into that forward fold. And when you're in this forward fold, you're always kind of thinking and noticing how you know, how are the backs, the legs feeling now? How's the back feeling? Inhale to gazing pose. Exhale, soften through the knees, sweep the hands all the way up. Hands through heart center. Good, inhale again. Draw the chest forward, almost bringing these arms back. Yeah, so you're really opening up the chest and coming down into that forward fold. Softening through the knees, place the hands down onto the mat. You're going to step the right leg back and come into um, a low lunge position. If it's more comfortable, you can drop the knee. But just find that length through the spine. Just for now, try to keep the back of the knee nice and straight. You're going to windmill the arms up now into warrior two. So just either find your weight. All you're doing here is left foot stays exactly where it is and your right foot is coming down. So your toes are now pointing to the right side and then you're coming up into this warrior two. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if it comes up in that transition or however you get there. <clears throat> now, ankle, knee, hip all in alignment. Yeah, so front leg, ankle, knee, hip all in alignment, pressing with the outside edge of that right foot. Arms in line with the shoulders. Gaze goes over your left hand. I'm just going to turn sides because it'll, it's easier to mirror you. So left hand 
soften the shoulders, keep the lunge coming through that front leg. Good. So if it's too much for the shoulders, keep the arms here. Take a deep breath in. We're coming into reverse warriors. You're turning your left hand up towards the ceiling. Right hand slides down towards that leg. And you're reaching over, really lengthening through that side. Breathe nice and steady. Keep that lunge coming through the front leg. Try not to lose it. Good. Now, when you're ready, bringing the arms back in line with each other. And now this left hand is going to come into that uh, gently resting upon the top of this left knee. And your right arm can either stay on your waist or it can come overhead into, um, into side angle bound. So you're just really thinking about bringing that chest around towards the ceiling, trying to keep the neck and the shoulders nice and soft. And the gaze, if possible, goes up almost towards the inside edge of the um, arm. Keep breathing. When you're ready, gently coming back through, just as that fire was warming up in that, in that front leg and round into reverse warrior again. <clears throat> Option to bring this hand around the back and just think about turning the chest upwards. And then coming back round into warrior two. Okay. And now from where you are, you're going to windmill the arms round back into that lunge. So you're now framing the left foot again. I've turned because I just turned to mirror you. When you're ready, then you're going to step back into downward facing dog. Pedal through the heels. And for the first time since we started, drop the knees. Ease your bum back into child's pose. Rest the head down onto the mat. Taking some steady breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Try and keep the shoulders nice and soft. <coughs> Check in with how you're feeling. When you're ready, you're going to come back up into a tabletop position first. Tuck the toes and you're going to come back into downward facing dog <clears throat> and slowly creep your feet towards the hands again. So you're back up in that standing position at the top of the mat. Weight through the toes. Hang the head. Take a deep breath in to gazing pose, hands to the shins. Exhale, soften through the knees, sweep the hands all the way up, hands through heart center. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, arms drawing back, chest coming forward. Forward fold, soften through the knees, hands now frame both feet. And this time you're stepping your left leg back. Yeah, so you're in this high lunge on your left side. Now remember, you can drop the knee if you need to. Yeah, make sure that you're breathing. When you're ready, you're going to come up into warrior two on this second side. So your right toe remains facing forward. Your back, toe, back foot is just coming down, left, toes face left. And then you're coming up into that warrior two on your second side. So right toes forward, left toes face. I've just changed my position so that you can see <clears throat> if you were mirroring before. So gaze comes over that right hand, lunging into that right leg. Remember, you can drop the shoulders if you need to. Good. Take a deep breath in. Right hand flips up towards the ceiling and then gently reaching down with the left. Coming over, keep the lunge because often in um, reverse worry, as you go back, the leg starts to straighten up. So you've got to try and keep that leg nice and lungy, shall we say, active. 
When you're ready then, coming back into warrior two. And then your right hand elbow is gently resting on that right knee. Shoulder rotates around to the top, hand to the waist if you want to, or bring that arm overhead into that side angle bound. So the aim here is to try and keep this left hip as open as possible. So the whole side is like one complete line from fingertip to the outside edge of that left foot. So try not to lean too heavily into this right knee. And make sure that you're breathing. So remember, if anything that stops your breath, stops you from breathing, you want to just ease a little bit out. Okay, just remind yourself to keep that breath nice and steady. Static holds, twists, we tend to hold our breath. Okay, so windmill the arm round. Coming round, back into that reverse warrior. You should really be feeling now this front leg firing up. I say front leg, your right leg firing up. And then coming back into that warrior two. You are going to come back down into that lunge position. And then you're going to step back into downward facing dog. So pedal through the heels a bit. Let's just shake the legs off. Let that lactic acid just flow around a little bit. Good. And when you're ready, coming over into plank pose, you're going to drop the knees gently down onto the mat and just sort of come into kneeling for now. If kneeling isn't comfortable for you, OK, you can just um, sit cross legged and do exactly the same thing with your upper body. So if you need to adjust your screens, please do. Um, what I'm looking for here is got some extension going on through uh, the lower back again. So heels of the hands are either into the small of the back and you're just drawing the chest forward or you can take the hands underneath the shoulders and just really lift up through the chest. Depends how your knees are. OK, and if you're OK and knees are OK and everything's happy, shoulders are dropping back, lift the bum off. You squeeze the bum through, just feeling it through the fronts of the quads and into the hip flexors. But don't do this if your knees hurt or, or it's too much pressure on the shoulders. Slowly releasing down, you're going to creep the hands all the way forward and very slowly slide the hands away from you and come into that child's pose again, resting the head down onto the mat. When you're ready, just slowly now coming up and you're going to find your way onto your bums into a long legged seated position. Now, for those of you that have got niggles with your lower back, that's when your cushion comes in handy or your block or your mat or whatever. Sometimes you might just want to take the pressure off the lower back, just prop in a little cushion under your bum. Just under the tailbone part of it helps quite a bit. So you're looking to turn the, uh, the toes up towards the face. The legs are nice and long. Obviously, if you don't need the cushion, that's fine. But you'll know when you're in this position whether you do or not um, because you'll feel the pressure on the lower back. So hands are just underneath the shoulders. Shoulders are back. Spine is nice and long. Toes are turning up towards the face. Taking a deep breath in here. Thinking about the length through the crown of the head and through the spine. So it's as if you were um, kind of sitting against a wall and pushing the chest forward, shoulders back. And as you exhale, you're turning the toes towards the face, really firing up the fronts of the legs, feeling it through the back of the hamstrings as well. And then just gently releasing and softening off. Now from here, I'm going to turn this way. It's easy for you to see me. You're going to take your left foot onto the inside edge of that right thigh. So left sole of foot, inside edge of the right thigh. And your right foot is nice and long. <clears throat> Good. So we're just going to take um, your right hand now to the left knee and just draw it around in a twist. But keep this right foot nice and long and the toes are nice and active. Gazes to the side or over your shoulder. If you've got that kind of nice support going through the spine, 
then you can look to maybe lift this back hand and just try and reach for the thigh of that right leg. But it just depends how you feel. When you're ready, just send the gaze forward again. And then you're just going to counter pose. So just take the left hand to the outside edge of your right kind of knee or shin, and then just gently draw around to your right side. Bringing the gaze forward, just gently bringing that knee in, extending the left leg now. Right foot comes onto the inside edge of that left leg. Nice and long with the left leg, sitting nice and upright. Getting comfortable in that position first. Remember, use your cushion if you need to. And then taking your left hand to the right knee this time and taking a little twist to so use it as an anchor. So you're taking a twist round to the right side. Sending the gaze either to the right side or behind you. And maybe if you want to bring that right arm around the waist just to anchor onto that little um, sort of inside edge of the, th the thigh. When you're ready, send the gaze forward, just counter posing. So just come in central first and then right hand comes to the outside edge of the left leg and then gently draw the body round to the other side. Left leg stays nice and long. Sending the gaze forward, bringing the chest forward, taking a bend through the knees, soles the feet connect to the mat. Good. And then arms are just reaching out in front of you. And then you're just going to very, very slowly draw the belly button in, keep the length through the spine, keep the knees squeezing together, and just lower yourself down, kind of almost notch by notch by notch towards the mat beneath you, keeping that breath nice and steady, just controlling it down, and then coming into that Shavasana, getting yourself comfy on your mat, just letting the legs come nice and long and take a little wiggle of the bum and the hips, draw the shoulders away from the ears, turn the palms up towards the ceiling, taking some steady breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Just settling in for the next minute or so into this Shavasana. Softening your jawline, gently resting the eyes, keeping the tension away from the shoulders. Just staying in this moment. Don't allow the mind to wander off too much or get stuck on one particular thought. Just bring in the awareness into how your body's feeling in this moment. Think about how it was when you first started your practice this morning. Let's just take a little bend through the knees, soles the feet connect to the mat. Tucking the tailbone under, getting that lower back nice and flat and just kind of windmilling the windscreen, wiping the knees from side to side, just easing ourselves back into reality. 
And then bringing the knees in towards the chest, hugging them in towards your, your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. And just holding on to that right knee, extending the left leg. And then holding on to the left knee and extending the right leg. And then just bringing both knees in. Another little rock from side to side. When you're ready, crossing at the ankles or just finding your way into a seated position, in a cross leg position or an easy seated pose, whatever's more comfortable for you. And taking a deep breath in here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're going to take two more this morning. So inhale. Out through the mouth. Big sigh. One more time. Inhale. Through the nose and out through the mouth. And namaste. Happy Monday. Thank you very much.